with time traveling treasures. It's been a while since I've put out a video. There's been a lot going on. Um, I am actually out on Thursday doing my Tuesday thrift stores. Um, I have it set up to where there's certain stores I do on Tuesdays and certain stores I do on Thursday. Um, but today is Thursday and I'm doing my Tuesdays. Um, so there's a little bit of sickness in the house, nothing too serious. There was uh, tree ninjas <laughs> taking down trees at my neighbor's house. So there's a lot of sawing and beeping and hammering and yelling. There's just a lot of noise, which then made the dogs bark. So a lot of noise pollution, not a great environment to record videos at my house. I don't know how long that's going to be going on because they've got a lot of trees in the yard. I don't know if they're going to be taking down all of them or if they're just doing a few. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who's going to make the cut. Yeah. So, um, I thought I would take you along with me thrifting. I am going to do a haul video. I'll probably try and do that in the evening when the tree guys have gone home for the day. Try and get that done. I have quite a lot to catch up on as far as haul video goes. So it might be a really big collection of everything that I got in the past week. Um, some, I did some thrifting. Um, my birthday was Monday. Happy birthday to me. Uh, my birthday was Monday and over the weekend I did some thrifting with my sister and my really good friend. So I've had lots of opportunities to find lots of treasures. And speaking of which, I'm going to go try and find some more treasures in this Goodwill, which is right over here where I'm pointing. So, if you would like to come with me, I would love to have you. Let's see what we can find. So, I usually end up in the artwork and the frames first because it's just the way the Goodwill is laid out. So, I don't spend a lot of time here, but I will pass through and just see if there's anything that stands out. Like I saw this embroidered print and I know that they're doing really well right now for resale. I just wasn't really sure about the design of it. What do you guys think? I did actually end up getting artwork here today, but I don't think you'll see it. So I guess you're just going to have to see the haul video. That is just, I don't even know what to say. Wow, creative, that is creative. And I promise you guys, I have no idea who Andrew is. I like this lamp. It is modern, uh, it's not old, um, but I just liked that it was a new design that was being done in an older style. I probably would have gotten it. They wanted $8 for it. I don't know why I didn't get it. It might have to be a redo. The coffee cups haven't been great, which is unfortunate because the price is two for $1.25. I did see this neat NASA mug. Uh, we have NASA in our area. Um, there's Langley and also Wallops Island. I thought these were cute. Um, I figured that they would be the pair, like sold as a set, but they're not. They were sold individually. And they wanted $2.25 for each piece, so I let them go. The dishes is, this is usually my favorite aisle. There wasn't a lot. There's a lot of sets. So great finds if you're looking to restock your kitchen. This piece of uh, restaurant ware was nice. It did have a couple chips on it. So I passed it up.
So when I was at the Goodwill today, it's kind of funny because I said, I can't just be at the house all day and listen to the tree choppers yelling and screaming and buzz sawing. And so I'm like, I'll just take a nice quiet day, go to the thrift stores, relax a little bit. And at the Goodwill, they just happened to be, I really don't know what they were do to, doing, to be honest. They were drilling on the clothing racks with a drill onto the metal the entire time I was there. <laughs> so I kind of thought it was funny, but I just couldn't escape. I loved this strawberry cake or uh, pie cover plate, but look at that. That's so sad. It has a scar. All right, guys. I actually posted a picture of this on my Instagram and it's still here. This is beat to pieces. Look at how good it was done. This is a high school piece from the 70s. Completed high school, 1970. And just the fact that the tail wraps around the bowl, there was a lot of work done into that. I love it. I almost want to just get it and just put it in my office. And this guy kept staring me down. I don't know what his problem was. This is just a little music box made in Japan. It was pretty. There's the kitty. That kitty's been there for a while. That was a pretty vase, but it also had some chips and dings. Sometimes I'll pick up things. It depends on the piece, if it's something that's really highly desirable, uh, or if the chip, depending on where the chip is, I'll decide whether or not to get it. If it's not visible, um, as it would naturally be displayed. There's my man and his little dog. So what would you guys do with this? This is just the lid. But we all know that the mushrooms go really well. So that's a Capodimonte. See, I don't understand. Why would you cover up something that says this is a really good brand with a sticker that says Goodwill? <laughs> Wouldn't you want someone to see that this is a really high quality piece that they're getting for $225? I would think that they would want to advertise the fact that they are selling uh, this piece for a really good price. But they cover it up and then we have to peel it. Then they get upset because we peel it. I just think there's a good solution. Look at that. You guys know what that is, don't you? That's the roof to a fairy house. I think she has escaped. There is probably a fairy floating around somewhere. And on the sticker it said, two for five dollars. Same here in a shade. Two for five twenty-five. But there's only one piece. So where is the two? I looked on every shelf and could not find it. That is a Holland mold leaf plate. So I just left the Goodwill and there was a pretty good selection of things. I was going to show you everything in the car since it's kind of noisy at my house for a while, but a lot of the things that I got were really large and just the logistics of trying to hold it up to you guys, <laughs> it, it's kind of difficult. So, probably have to do a haul video 
uh, separately to show you everything. Uh, I am on my way to CHKD and see what they have and then on to Village Thrift. That's my usual Tuesday but done on a Thursday. If I have a lot of extra time and if I don't see anything at these two, who knows? I might just go crazy. I might just go to my Thursday circuit. I mean, crazier things have happened. So stay tuned and see where we end up. There's a little bit of Easter stuff left. Sage Katie just has one back wall that they have uh, all of their collectibles. If you guys saw my last video, I stacked those pretty little plates. These lovely Courier and Ives plates. She is adorable. She uh, is very well done. And I actually picked her up and put her in my cart and she was going to go home with me. Uh, I did end up putting her back. She had uh, some, um, it wasn't even just crazing, it was like part of the glaze on it had completely worn off and there's like a lot of wear spots on it. Um, I don't know if it was like heat, uh, but I ended up putting her back. I actually have a lot of pieces of this. I have some bowls, some serving bowls, and some plates. It is a pretty pattern, but I didn't pick it up. I thought this was pretty with the birch trees. I really like the frame. But they write on the back of the paper. You can't get that off. Unless you just take the paper backing off of it. So I have a hard time getting prints. I wish they would write on the glass, but I understand their concern with people wiping off the price, but they could do that on a mug or a plate or anything else. Okay, so when I was in there before, they had told me that a place had come and brought a truckload of dishes and donated them. Honestly, <laughs> three, three shelves full. Wow. It would be neat if someone was opening up a restaurant and needed them. Okay, see that right there? I actually donated that to Sage Katie. Um, and the reason why I donated it, because it's absolutely stunning, is it has a crack in it. And it was not where it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be with this plate right here. I mean, if I'm going to donate it, you've got to keep them together. That's the rule. I have standards. You have to keep my stuff together. You guys know how I am with keeping everything together on the shelves that are supposed to be together on the shelves. And that's pretty much it for CHQD. Hi, everyone. I am at the Village Thrift. I just left CHQD. Found a few really good things there. I can't wait to share them with you. 
but I'm gonna have to, which means you're gonna have to, but we'll get to them, I promise. So I am at the Village Thrift. I am heading in now, and if you would like to join me, let's go. So I really liked these plates. They're uh, clay pottery, red, uh, like a redware plate, and the colors were really bright and vibrant. This uh, sun catcher caught my eye. I liked the fairy and the design on it. it says it's uh, made in Mexico. As you can see, that came with me. And then I saw these. I'm like, what in the world? And it's actually Murano glass, a little um, wrapped candy, and they actually do pretty well. They were only 58 cents, so I picked them up. So out of the corner of my eye, I spotted that. And then I spotted the chip, which was sad. There's those Ikea glasses. There they are. Hmm. Did I get them? I liked that, but the a lot of the um, image was kind of wearing off. These plates, they haunt me. I want to get them so much, but I just don't know what's... The, the top one's a little bit worn, and then I'm concerned that the other ones are going to be even more worn, and I just don't want to take the chance. Apparently, there's such a thing as gourmet Lutheran coffee. And hey, Julie, in Colorado, we're giving you a shout out. So you might think that that's speckled glaze, but it's actually not. Hey, I'm done. I'm done at the village. Village, village thrift is scouted. Um, it was good. Uh, I found some things that. I was kicking myself last time for not getting, so I was able to snag those. It's getting hot, guys, in Virginia. It's getting hot. At least in my car. <laughs> Sun's out. It's beautiful. It's a great day. It's getting warmer. So it's time to dress in layers and just peel them off. So I am getting ready to head home and do some listing on eBay. and do some work in my office because we are getting ready to do a renovation which I will be documenting for your viewing pleasure so you can go with me as I update the office space that I work in um, spoiler alert the green wallpaper is going guys it's going if you're really into it if you love the green wallpaper send me your address and I will give you a scrap <laughs> that I rip off the wall 
I will, I will preserve it for you, but it's got to go. I, I got to get rid of the green. Just in time for St. Patrick's Day, too, right? Maybe I should wait. Nah, it's got to go. All right, so that's it for thrifting, and stay tuned for the haul video. I hope to see you there. Bye. Thank you.